you for staying. All right, so we are still discussing what we're leaving in 2021. So not saving or planning for your financial future is a thing we're leaving. We're going to start save. We're going to start plan. And also accumulating debt. Now, this people only, I think, only borrow when they really need it, right? But we need to try to find alternative ways, legal alternative ways to avoid debt and clear up our debts and all that. We don't really want to bring that into 2022. So if it is that you know you have certain things outstanding, make a game plan, figure it out, try to work on things so you guys can ensure that your financial future look a little better than it is right now, all right? Yeah. All right, so the next one is blaming your problems or your flaws on your sign. We need to stop it. We do some things, have some dirty habits out there. Then we say, oh, become a Scorpio. It's the Leo in me, you know? I'm a Gemini. <laughs> no, you're, guys. You're a Gemini. <laughs> you're a Gemini, right? No, stop no. That, we need to stop accepting these flaws and saying, oh, I was signed. I was just so we stay, right? We all have flaws. No, no, we're not exempt from it. All of we have flaws. However, it's about knowing them and working on them. You know, sit down with them and say, I'm a sign or some stay. That don't make no sense. Not at all. Right? So we're going to stop blaming our problems or our flaws on our signs. This is something that we need to fix ASAP. All right. This one is a personal one. And it's also something that I am working on. Not prioritizing our health and fitness. Ouch. That one here, yeah, make me a throw stone after myself because yep. I have started and stopped so often. And, and I was doing good too, you know. And I was doing good too, guys. From September to November, I was working on at home and I was holding myself accountable and I was pushing myself. And little stress reached me November. I must start skip one, then I skip two, then I just skip them all. <laughs> and I've not exercised since. But guys, our health and our fitness is should be probably our number one priority. Because remember, you know, you have one life to live. This vessel, this body is what you were given to go through life with. And then we know medical care is not, not cheap. We know, say, any little thing can happen to it. Try it. COVID taught us that having health is a huge part of surviving in this world. Because the persons who feared a bit better with getting the virus was the persons that were a little healthier. Three quarter we overweight. Whether, it, whether we look it or not, we are. We have to accept it. A spade is a spade. We need to start taking better care of ourselves because these things lead to bigger problems, lead to cancer, hypertension, um, all kind of diseases, you know? So we need to start prioritizing our health and fitness. So we're not, we're not this whole just sit on and just gain weight. So we're not doing it in 2022. We're going to do something better. Fantastic Fridays is here to help you because we post videos every week. Yeah. Every week on our Wednesday, DOB Fitness make some videos and we post them. And guys, all you have to do is follow it. Actually, when I do it, I realize it don't even take you more than 10 minutes, probably 15 maximum. And that's if you take longer breaks in between. Yeah. It don't take you more than 10 minutes. How many of us have 10 minutes that we've wasted? <laughs> just 10 minutes just to play a game on your phone or 10 minutes watching a YouTube video or 10 minutes doing something else, right? Even while you're listening to us on Fridays, you can actually do a workout while we're talking, cause your ears now work out, or your body will work out. So you can have fantastic <laughs> Friday, playing in the background, listening to us, and work out 10 minutes out of the three hours, we're here to talk to you, right? So we need to prioritize our health and fitness, and this is a personal goal of mine. I'm hoping that you guys will take on that mantle. We have giveaways for that, we have another fitness person coming on board to offer free fitness classes guys take advantage that's why we have it here all right so take advantage of it another one stop letting fear stop you stop i repeat stop. do not let fear stop you from doing or achieving your goals no. all right all of us there are so many things you want to do and because we, we doubt ourselves and we're afraid like what if you know i know i'm gonna make for that i'm telling you guys when i was asked to come on this show i was afraid very afraid and i was like kim what do you mean you know bill for this <laughs> well, what people are gonna listen to you for like why you know i had so many questions right and i was nervous 
And I was like, no, God, mm-mm. me? Because, guys, as much as I'm an outspoken person, I'm very private. I'm very to myself. Me and a smutty wall. You know, you know, front stage person, I'm more the background person. So even this was very fearful. And then we do like one show, nervous, and it was fun. Second show, it was fun. Then I realized, all right, you know, start step one. So Michelle, don't make fear stop you. All of us have talents. We ha- we're good with so many things, but we're not trying because we are afraid. All right? So guys, step out of that box. Don't make that don't make it and i said i'm an example of it <laughs> i was afraid and then look at me every friday they come now come listen to me and me say me nobody want to listen to me what made me qualified for this what made me you know i had so many questions but i had supportive friends and family They're like oh we don't worry you're good you know so guys stop letting fear stop you and next one it's tied into earlier the earlier point of fake friends and whatever they were Stop thinking about what others will say or think. Stop free what people are going to think about whatever you do. Because guess what? The reality is, whether you do, if it's two choices you have, whichever one you have, you're going to have naysayers, you're going to have supporters, you're going to have haters, you're going to have all of that. No matter which direction you go, whether good or bad. So at this point, it's better to choose what's right for you, don't it? Because if you choose a somebody else one and people slug a vex, you are going unhappy. So why not be happy with your choices that you're choosing for yourself? People are still going to vex, but guess what? You happy, right? So we need to stop thinking about what others will say or think about anything that we do. Whether you're the good or bad, people will talk. Whether you could have been the nicest person from, the, from earth, somebody around the corner going to be like, I don't like how everybody like her, you know. I don't like how people like talk to her, you know. Instead of them trying to change and adjust and be a better person, they prefer not to like you, all right? <laughs> so we have people like this, so we need to stop thinking about what others will say or think. And next one, and COVID brought this one out. Not valuing family, friends, or, or loved ones like we should. Guys, this one is a COVID teach me. They can be here today, gone tomorrow. We didn't always know this, you know. But COVID just happened in droves and people start lose family member like group, like it's a group of thing, right? So it shows you that we need to value the time that we are spending with our loved ones, spending with family, brother, sister, mother, because anything can happen, right? So make the time for the important people. Come realize everybody make time for funeral, you know. You could have the out of Asia, you know, you could have the across the world, when you're just so and so dead, what? But for come, can't make funeral, miss me. Why we make time for a funeral, but if the person called you, you weren't making time for them. Mm-hmm. That doesn't make no sense, right? So we're going to leave that in 2021 where we're not valuing our family, our friends, or our loved ones like we should. We also need to celebrate our wins. Any little win you get, celebrate it. Just like if you're going up a mountain, don't just wait till they reach the top of the mountain for celebrate. If you take two steps and you're closer than before, celebrate your wins, no matter how small they are. You need to celebrate your wins. It also makes the journey a little easier. So you see, you know, the exercise world, come and just talk about fitness. If it is that you exercise one time, the fact that you just start, celebrate. Don't celebrate with fast food, right? <laughs> That's not what you're going to do. But you're going to big up yourself. You're going to congratulate yourself for actually starting to exercise. Celebrate the small wins. And then you when the bigger win come, you do a bigger celebration. But you need to encourage yourself on the journey. So we're going to start celebrating our wins, no matter how small they are. If it's a case that you did your smoke and you want to stop smoke, if you skip one day, celebrate it. If you used to do seven cigarettes for the day and you're going to six, celebrate it because you're going in the right direction and it helps you to stay on target, all right? So we're going to be celebrating our wins. And we're also going to stop skipping self-care take care of yourself and self-care also includes your mental health protect your mental health anything that's not going to do you any good anything that's not going to build you anything that's not going to push you forward leave it alone push it out of sight out of mind if you can remove it from your life remove it from your life protect your mental health and self-care take care of yourself physically Mentally, spiritually, financially, all the all the them. Self care, all that in my opinion goes under self care. All right. 
also so we need to stop living our best lies on social media okay and we need to stop not living in the moment and doing everything for instagram or social media guys if you're gonna eat food we don't need to take picture of everything we're gonna eat right the world don't need to know that you had pasta today right i mean it's good ads for the companies and stuff but sometimes you just need to enjoy the moment my friend then probably vex a bit three quarter of the time for this because when they want picture half the time like oh man take picture for me just want to enjoy myself if i'm out i'm out to enjoy i've never been anywhere and put up my phone and a bit of myself hey i'm having fun i don't need you to see i'm having fun i just need to know so me i have fun right so me are telling it, stop doing it for what other people will see. You want to show the world, say you're good, but you know you're not really good. Maybe even if you're good, you don't have to show the world. Just enjoy life, enjoy the moment with not without having to take a picture to show people on Instagram or Twitter or whatever it is. But Kimmy, may I have to look for my views? May I need for what my views? No, you don't need to live like that. Views what what views became essential. Why? If you're building your page for whatever purposes, fine. But if you know it doesn't exist, people, you say views depress people. They post a video or, or worse if it is that them say 300 views and six likes. They start pre everybody. Then oh, now what my page and not like me. Then people then literally come to you and say that. But why are we must. placing such an importance on that? Why? It make you feel less than. So you probably are not post nothing again <laughs> because nobody not like your picture, you know? So we need to take back that power that social media has taken from us and validate ourselves. Don't wait for the like them to say whether it is that you look good that day day or you didn't have fun, you know? Ensure you will have fun first and foremost. Alright, and we're wrapping it up. Procrastination and New Year's resolutions. Now, I personally don't have a problem with it, but it was a suggestion that we need to stop the New Year's resolution because people try to do foolishness all year especially the latter part of the year and tell themselves january <laughs> i'm gonna be converted you know thank god i'm converted january 1st we're all new people right no guys you don't have to wait on a new month a new week a new year to change if you're going to change something change it when you're ready to do so if today you wake up and you say you know say i beer snack me eat more so i eat vegetable Go and go get a vegetable the best and eat time it. is now. Why you go January 1st, I'm going to eat vegetable. What going to happen between now and January 1st? You don't know. As my yep. virgin, <laughs> what the son said, don't wait till you get to heaven. Exactly. Now. <laughs> Do it now. So the procrastination, the time wasting, the putting off things that can be done today, it's all in one. We're leaving all of that in 2021 no more time wasting make sure you use your time intentionally i'm learning more and more every day that time really is it is the most expensive thing that can't be bought yeah you can't get it back you can't undo anything so guess what use it wisely i started watching i tried to watch at least one or two inspirational video per week come and start pre saying so you know whatever i'm feeling my mind is what you're gonna put out so I'm going to start pre when I want to speak, what I want to be representing, what I want to be living. Instead of all this negative music and this negative this and, you know. So you do what you have to do for you, but don't wait until New Year's to do what you have to do for you. You still exist today and you are still important to you today. All right. And the final one. Reckless driving. We need to stop it. People's lives are at stake. We cannot make nobody in a normal mean. Not talk about childbirth and all these things. But we can't be just taking people's life just like that. You know, we talked about crime and violence earlier. But reckless driving need a topic by itself. Because every day I see it. Jamaica, it's when you left your yard. It's a shame whether you drive or you're in a taxi. You have to pray so you read safe. Because the way the road they go on. And I see a holy for accidents. We know so them says silly season. But the accident M seem amplified like upon one road you will see three different car crash. Last night I was going home and at, at least four stoplights there was broken glasses. Or shards of glass. Right? At four stoplights on the same stretch. It was from Boulevard, um, Corville, come up. Four different stoplights. One bag of glass. What what we are going with? Why? So the reckless driving guys, we need to leave it in the past. If you're late, you're late already, <laughs> right? If it is that you forgot something, 
Listen, sometimes things happen for a purpose, no bother a rush. Because you might take somebody's life and then you go if you're late and you end up in an accident you know, you know, so you're still late. You know, go reach early all of a sudden. You're probably later than if you didn't take your time and reach. Alright? So reckless driving, go on better pedestrians are on the road, other drivers are there. And it caught me every single time, especially when the opposite driver who probably never have nothing to do with the accident ends up dying or something. Like that caught me deep, you know? Cause that, not that like the person did anything to deserve it, you know? So guys, it's my son, it's my daughter, smuddy. Especially in families. I've seen accidents or heard accidents with a whole family in the car. And the whole family dead one time. You know, them things are rough. So guys, reckless driving, we need to stop. As as Vaughn said, it rough out the Kim. Ask Lionel how the brother do my car in November. Exactly. And then enough of them people when they do it, they not stay around for take responsibility. So it's no on the person to fix them on a car. If them have no ailments or injuries or them have to do all that themselves. Guys, guys, 2021, we're leaving it there. We have a few hours left. If you not have anything else that you feel like you need to leave behind, feel free to think about it for the rest of this tonight and try on the best. You're not going to eat, not going to wake up tomorrow morning and that's perfect. We're not going to tell you to do that. But make a list of what the things you need to work on or the things that you think you need to change and work on it, all right? So, guys, that was it for Talk the Thing with Kim. The final Talk the Thing with Kim segment for 2021. Boy, the episode is going with a bag of trials and tribulations. A lot of light and darkness. A lot of, you know, the, the valley of the shadow of death. I don't know. It just feels like a whole heap of fight. But, guys, we are here. And we still had to deliver. And as Vaughn said, we have to be very vigilant. So, guys... If it is that you missed parts of this, uh, we will post it on the live, on the Fantastic Fridays YouTube channel. And hopefully we'll have the recording if we can post on the page, the Fantastic Fridays Instagram page. Alright? So guys, that is it for Talk the Thing with Kim. Alright guys, so there you have it people. And it's another wrap up to the end of the show. This is our final show for the year. Sadly, so but we'll be here next Friday. <laughs> we'll be back again next week with another great show, people. Thank you very much for staying with us. And as usual, we have some credit giveaways before we go. So right now, did you sell people take out your phone? We gotta make sure the nice and put a sale before the holiday. Not before the uh year changes is this a people or flow people well i have digital people oh, okay, you have flow okay, people. okay 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 so digital people take out your phone star one two one star and they're ready did you sell people and they're ready they're ready here we go four two three two five four nine six five two zero four four number sign send go ahead and have yourself a fantastic new year once it comes in people i hope you guys have a great time thank you very much for staying with us and you know big up to you and you know we love the support looking for great things yes, for the year guys, to come. thank you so much for the support and i hope this support continues into 2022 and with that said flow credit flow users get your phone out credit about to be given away flow users star one two one star and if you get the credit let us know let people. us know two one eight four zero seven five five six two seven one five nine number sign and send you get the credit make us know thank you all for staying tuned to fantastic fridays we'll be back next week friday bringing the new year safely yeah right safely don't do a dangerous reckless driving try to social distance sanitize all of that yeah. so guys take care on yourself we want to see all on next week yeah we are going to friday night live we should be coming up next yeah man and also people be safe on the roads you know Make sure, um, what are you guys doing for the New Year's? How are you ringing in the New Year's, by the way? I shall be going to my yard. Ah, the old, <laughs> the old bedrock pillow jam. Yes, we shall be partying all night. Okay, and there in will my be bed. fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no fireworks. Fireworks illegal. No, well, not illegal, but... Well, not, not yet. They're canceled for than, tonight. Yeah, they're canceled. <laughs> mm. So no fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> All right? All right, people. Carter Shakespeare said January 6th is my birthday. All, All right. right, Carter, we remember so that. So we'll be partying with Carter Shakespeare next week. She said repeat the flow. Right, I'm going to repeat it just in case anybody didn't win it. Yeah, who the got it? The flow credit, sell? once again, it's star 121 star 21840. 7556 
27159 number sign and send and for the digital credit star 121 star give you a little time for dash for the flow phone and take up the digital <laughs> phone star 121 star 423254965 number sign send all right, we're just nice and up for the week, for the uh, new year. For the new year. Make sure to enjoy yourself. Thank you guys for staying with us. Great content coming next year. You don't want to miss it. Yes. All the excitement continues. Any, any topic suggestions, feel free to send it. We will announce the winner for the fitness giveaway later on the page. You want me to do it now? We have time. We can do it. All right, so we're going to say congratulations to Yashika Boo. Congrats to you. We're going to make the post on the page. Have a great weekend, people. Stay stay, Carter. So she get it. She get the flow on the digi. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so Carter, you're our birthday next month. That's why. All right, guys, thanks as well to DOB Fitness for being a part of the giveaway, for being the prime partner. All the supporters all year. Mama Knows, Mimshot Creations. Everybody. NA Design. NA Design. T yeah. and Spike. Glossy Lips. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gustazos as well. Palace Amusements. Bliss Therapy, Skin Care. Yeah. Only for supporters. Everybody Thank you all. Apart. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, Amelia's Sweet Treat. So we yes. go with this one, people. Go with the blessings, people, because we are blessed people for the 2022. And Amelia says so. Everybody says so. Oh, we say so. <laughs>